What's up guys, welcome to your 191st Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to use a seek bar to control the volume. Right now it's not programmed so you can still hear the volume. Um, but uh, it's going to be two tutorials and then we're going to basically wrap up our application, add some ads, put it on the marketplace, all that good stuff. Um, so we're going to kind of go quickly, but not too quickly. Um, all we're going to do is we're going to create an XML layout that has a seek bar. And that's under the form widgets and it's right here seek bar throw that in and you know add a ID to it I called it seek bar volume and then we're gonna go create a class called seek bar volume extends activity we're gonna set up a seek bar um, instance and a media player instance uh, nothing too new here um, well I guess the seek bar is but um, we just have to add a reference to the XML for our seek bar we have to set our content view to that XML layout and within the onCreate method that's where we're gonna start our media player uh, again, I just referred to that uh, background music um, RAR folder that or RAR you know uh, sound that we included in our project, and then I started it. I also added an on pause method um, that releases the sound. So nothing, uh, nothing too new there. I hope you guys can set that up. And how we're going to handle our volume is through something called an audio manager. So we're going to set that up above our class. And we're just going to say audio manager. A A M something like that, and what we're going to do is in, um, after we add our imports, we're going to set up our audio manager. We're going to set this equal to uh, audio manager, just the basic setup. And again, we're going to say get system contact or system service, and we're going to refer to context dot audio service. So now we can, you know, mess around with the audio of our application and our activity and all that good stuff. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to set up basically the current volume that the person has on their device and also uh, the maximum volume. So we're going to say, and these are going to be int values. So we're going to say int max v, and we're going to set this equal to our audio manager um, dot get stream max volume. And we're just going to refer to the audio manager class. And we're going to say dot. And we're just going to say stream uh, music. So all that's doing is creating an int value for basically the maximum volume that uh, you know the phone can project. So um, that's all that's doing. It looks a little bit complicated, but it's really not too bad. So then we're going to set up the current volume. So we're just going to say current V, and we're going to set this equal to again our audio manager dot get system volume or stream volume instead of max volume, and we're going to again set this up to our audio uh, manager class dot stream music as well, and that's going to get the current volume and pass it in as an int. And also in this tutorial, we're going to set up basically, you know, our listener for our seek bar. So we're going to say seek bar, um, which is the variable name that we created. We say dot set on seek bar changed listener or change listener, and we're going to say this, and then we're going to allow our class to implement the on um, seek bar change listener. So there we go, and then we just have to add our impl unimplemented method. Um, and as you can see, we have three of them, a progress change, a progress start track, tracking touch, and a stop tracking touch, which we'll get into in the next tutorial. Again, I just want to make sure everything's set up, and I'll show you guys how we can uh, use our seat bar to handle basically our volume. So uh, I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Hope you have a good one, and see you then.